Good morning, dear student. Today we are going to discuss again a classification of the scaling technique. In last lecture, we have discussed about the comparative scales. Today we will discuss about non-comparative scales. In comparative scale, we can again recap like period comparison. Period comparison we have discussed about the uh, we were discussing about Dove watch compared with the Sun Silk. Then clinic plus, then painting, then head and shoulder. But then it is the way we can compare and marking, marking and giving marks to if that brand is better than uh, compared brand, then it will be uh, rank one uh, uh, point will be given one. Otherwise, it will be zero. Rank order scaling uh, number of ranks like seven. Ranks, so seven brands were given there Himalayas, Dantranti, Colgate, and others also uh, as a two best categories. And then each brand were compared with other brands and minus one. And uh, which one be better that brand was ranked uh, in sequence. Now, constant sum rank, constant sum rank was the as we have discussed about the 100 was the constant, 100 was the constant, and um, it was ranked uh, under the 100, under the 100 point uh, attributes of any uh, particular products like there we have discussed about the attributes of bath, bathing soap so then you can recall that things now what is non competitive scale it, it is a continuous rating scale it is also called graphical scale and itemized rating scale itemized rating scale again divided into Likert, Semantic Differential and Staple Skills. In detail we will discuss about this. In the next slide. Uh, <coughs> now this is overview what we will discuss in this particular uh, slides. Nor com not com uh, non comparative scales technique, continuous rating scale, then itemized rating scale which as we have discussed it. Likert scale, semantic differential scale, and staple scales. Non uh, competitive scaling technique. What is non competitive scaling technique? Respondent evaluate only one ob object at a time. And for this reason, non competitive scales are often referred as nomadic scale. Non competitive technique consists of continuous and itemized rating scale. Should be continuous, like uh, we'll discuss, like liquid scale and other scaling techniques are there. Continuous rating scale or graphic scale this is the way one option is given to uh, respondent, like extreme, extreme uh, given into the one side, like uh, probability the worst and probability the best. Well, extreme probability and extreme. Uh, with the positive part. Steam probability means this is the uh, probably worst condition and it is graphically given like 0. A person can graphically give the like 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, like up to 900. So probably the best, best will be 100 and probably the worst will be 0. A person who wants to give their scaling, so he can give, suppose he is in midpoint, he wants, don't decide, so then it will be on 50, suppose you want to give average, then it may be uh, average positive side, then it may be 70 to uh, 70 uh, or more than, then it will be positive side, then negative side, then it will be 10, 20, 30, because 50 is the uh, midpoint. Like that, uh, we can give the neither bad and bad, very bad and very good. In three types, we have decided. Then it can be easily a respondent can response on the continuous rating scale. Okay. Then again, we'll discuss to other point. This is not so uh, tough. This is the way how you will design your questionnaire. What is itemized rating rating scale? The respondents are provided with a scale that has a number or brief description associated with each category. 
the categories are ordered in terms of scale, position and the respondent are required to select the specified categories that best describe the object being rated. The commonly used itemized uh, rating scale are the Likert, uh, Lik Likert and Semantic Differential and Stipple Scales. This is the simply scaling technique. Likert is Likert scale. Likert scale, as you know, this is the commonly uh, very much useful in the uh, researches. Uh, so this is one is uh, it is divided into the uh, five uh, scales like strongly disagreed, uh, disagree, neither agree nor uh, disagree. This should be here. This should be intent. This, uh, this should be here. This is this is a misplaced. Then uh, here it will be uh, correction. You can you should make a discorrection like uh, this is this disagree will be here. This agree, neither agree, neither it will be here. Then strongly de strongly disagree, then it will be here. Uh, disagree will be here. Neither agreed nor disagreed in the neutral side of things. This is the neutral way of discussion. This is the ag agree. Uh, this is agree only. This is not disagree. This is agreed and um, strongly agreed. This is strongly agreed. This is agreed. And this is your neutral part. Neutral, not decided. And this is your disagree. And this is your strongly disagree. These are the things which we will discuss in detail about the Likert scale. It is uh, very much useful in researches and this type of scaling is useful for the attitude, psychological questions, answers and for the knowing about in detail. Like here one example which we have to going to discuss this is Imagine. Imagine's uh, example of questions, how question form. Uh, format like Amazon sells high quality merchandise where you where a respondent will take it like here disagreed means not it is very much agree uh, near to neutral but it is negative side then Amazon has poor in store services this is also negative side and I like to shop at Amazon this is only this is not decided then it answer will be in negative sense, it is not strongly, but it is average, average it negative side. But Likert scale very much uh, frequently useful for the uh, psychological and attitude behavioral part of the research. So you should understand these things very much clear about. Yeah, now next, next slide we will discuss about. Semantic. What is semantic um, uh, differential scales? This is also very much uh, you can easily you can understand. This is also this is another way you can design your questions on the basis of this type of the semantic. Here one is powerful. Either this is the powerful and this is the weak. One side it will be weak. It is seven scale based and it is uh, powerful to be like if person want to give answer powerful then you will take it here uh, or take power you can get number here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven seven scale is given here this is also unreliable reliable modern old fashioned these are the semantic differential scale and um, this is the way we can decide a semantic differential scale for measuring self concepts, person's concepts and product concept. These are the way it is also seven scale, seven scales and uh, by this 
measurement scaling we can scale we can measure self concept person concept and product concept now next slide this is your uh, basic non competitive skills basic non competitive skills are basically based on what are the main uh, basic characteristics which are people advantages and disadvantages of these skills continuous rating scale the continuous rating scale basic characteristic place a marks on a continuous line example reaction to tv power sales advantages easy to construct disadvantages scoring can be cumbersome unless computerized then likert scales likert scales uh, degree of the agreement on one strongly disagree and five strongly agree to scale measurement of attitude psychological trait psychological thinking and uh, Uh, preferences of the product you can uh, get by this type of the scaling easy to construct administer and understand advantages more time consuming disadvantage semantic differential scale what are the semantic differential scale the seven point scale bipolar level bipolar level one side is positive another side is negative extreme positive and extreme negative then brand products and company images in examples versatility and then controversy as whether the data and are interval septal scale tepal scale stepal scale means unique uh, polar then uh, 10 points stepal scale stepal scales are unipolar point scale 5 to Plus five, minus five, two plus five without a natural point zero. This is called unipolar ten point scale minus five two plus ten without a natural point zero. Measurement of the attitude is also example of this stepal scale. Measurement of the attitudes and images easy to construct. administer over the telephone and uh, configure uh, confusing and difficult to apply this is confusing and difficult to apply this is the all about this uh, uh, measurement of the scaling some commonly used skills in marketing what are the some commonly used for skills in marketing this is the attitude Importance, satisfaction, purchase intent, and purchase frequencies. You can find out these are the scale in five scale. Um, given very bad, bad, neither bad nor good, good, very good. These are the examples like that. Other examples are there. Purchase never, rarely, sometimes, often, very often. This is the uh, way questions can be form formulated in your questionnaire. Then next will be. Your some unique scaling um, scale confidence like thermometer scale very much uh, like like very much dislike very much hundred to zero to hundred which can be given in this particular thermometer scale uh, smiling face scales where it is given this is the very commonly useful in your uh, uh, stores. And malls, people are getting such type of the scaling techniques. Rating scale configures. Rating scale configures. Chair uh, chair detergent is chair detergent is very harsh, very harsh. Now uh, this is the way, very gentle way, which is given in the way. This is the designing. This is designing how to get the number of ways the question can be asked. Question can be asked in the question. This is all about um, development of multiple item scales. Develop theory. First, we'll develop the theory on which we are to making our research. Then, 
general initial pool of items, theory, secondary data and qualitative uh, research. Select a reduced set of items based on quantitative judgment. Collect data from a large pre-test sample, statistical analysis, develop purified scale, then collect more data from different sample, evaluate scale, reliability, validity and generalized generalizability and final scale. So we will decide first on which particular theory we are making or research and on the basis of that we will decide the which type of the data we will collect and it primary theory, primary data, secondary data and qualitative research then we will make our research in uh, uh, like uh, pre-test then finally whatever you want to get by your scaling uh, questionnaire whatever question you have formulate you are getting that answers from your respondent then we will go for the and we will make the correction and make the purify the scale then finally we will make a final correct questionnaire on the basis of the whatever you have studied in this type of the scaling and then we will go for the final decide over uh, this we will make a test also reliable reliability validity and reliability test also and then we will go for the final scale so, uh, this is the all about this study thank you very much